So this is uh, just a little experiment that I'd like to do. Um, I don't really use orange very much on my palette, and I'm just wondering if maybe I can get by without it. Um, typically, I'm using yellow ochre, cadmium yellow pale, and sometimes cadmium lemon uh, to mix like really bright greens. Anyways, uh, so this cadmium yellow pale, I'm thinking, um, could be mixed with cadmium red to get something close enough to cadmium orange. So I just wanted to see if that is possible. So we take a little bit of that cadmium yellow pale with just a touch of cadmium red. Okay. And mix it up. Let's try to see what happens if I add just a touch of this alizarin up here. It is pretty dark red. Oh, that actually is pretty close, isn't it? It's almost identical. So, yeah, I guess that is the hint um, that I was missing. So, if you add just a touch of alizarin to your cadmium yellow pale and your cadmium red you will get cadmium orange we're gonna try to mix up the Indian yellow now let's just start with the uh, cadmium yellow pale Ca cadmium yellow I think would probably be even closer to this because it's a bit more orange so let's just try the cadmium red here just um, a smidge of it and that's gonna give us the cad cadmium orange and then let's try just a little bit of I think actually burnt umber might work so let's try burnt umber over here this is my burnt umber all right so going back here and mixing that in yeah that's pretty close Burnt umber, maybe a little bit more yellow. I mean, that is, yeah, that's close enough. There is a difference between these two uh, yellow oranges on the right. The, the Indian yellow is transparent. The color that I mix that is pretty close to this is opaque. With these two colors, I would say the cadmium orange is just a hair brighter and more vibrant. This is uh, my current palette that I'm using. So starting at the left, this is Ivory Black, Viridian, Cobalt Turquoise Light, Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine, Burnt Umber, Transparent Maroon, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow Pale, Cadmium Lemon, and Titanium White. And then I'm also recently trying this Liquid Impasto for medium and then I'll, I'll, I'll use uh, turpentine and linseed oil. The good thing about this palette is that it really works well for both portraits and for landscapes. I'm trying to minimize my palette as much as possible. Obviously you can get by with just the primaries but also I'm thinking in terms of efficiency. Being able to mix the colors quickly or just being able to have them on your palette I love this cobalt turquoise blue. It's, it's so fun to use. Contrasts really nicely with other blues because it's a little bit warmer. And, and it goes really well in flesh tones, just a little bit um, to cool them down. But not like cool them down to the extreme. Um, it still keeps them relatively warm. Anyhow, uh, warm and light, that is. So. That's it for today's uh, color lesson. If you have any question to whether or not it's possible to mix up your own cadmium orange or Indian yellow, um, it certainly is, uh, and this is proof of that. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section, and we will see you guys later.